A Madison attorney is accused of taking a drunk woman from State Street and sexually assaulting her at several different locations. I'm Jennifer Hoff, and coming up, I've got more on that story. Madison police say the accused man also drugged his victim. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Lee. Eric Franke has the night off. Jonathan Evenson was in court to face the charges against him, and new at 10, Evenson's friends share their reactions with the 19th Jennifer Hoff. Michelle Evenson's friends say they knew he has pleaded guilty to beating men up twice at downtown bars about three years ago. Court documents prove that, but they were shocked to learn about this latest allegation. On Friday, Jonathan Evenson made his first Dane County court appearance. He faces six felonies for drugging and sexually assaulting a college student. The crime allegedly started on State Street three weeks ago. A criminal complaint accuses Evenson of giving the 22-year-old ecstasy and having sex with her at his house and downtown office. Evenson is a lawyer, but Stafford Rosenbaum confirms it fired him six days after the incident. No one was at his Madison home, but Evenson's longtime neighbor was around. After the first couple incidents you know, of him you know, being loud late at night, no. He's, he's always been good with us, and we've always tried to you know, treat him like we would treat anyone else. Jacobus said he hasn't spoken to Evenson recently, but this week saw squads parked out front. The complaint said officers arrested Evenson Wednesday, and he was drunk. If this is true, then you know, it, it certainly is you know, something that we didn't see coming because we thought that you know maybe John is finally starting to to grow up a bit and you know and really show more of his potential. I got a terribly sick feeling but it didn't come as a surprise that something like this would happen. Evenson's longtime friend wanted to remain anonymous when she described the man she called a bachelor who liked to party. I feel for that girl and I feel for him and I hope everything you know the truth comes out a hundred percent in the criminal complaint, Evenson admitted to having sex and using drugs with the alleged victim, but told officers it was voluntary. Today in court, the judge set his bail at $70,000 cash, and Michelle, he's due back in court October 3rd. And of course, something we will continue to follow through the court system. Thanks, yep. Jennifer. Mm -hmm.